Hey, good evening. Welcome to Math for Kids number 46. Today we actually have some pretty short problems, so hopefully, hopefully this is a, have a short video, but they're fun. You ready for the first one? Yes. Okay. A car travels one mile in one minute and 30 seconds. Yep. How far does it travel in one hour? I have an idea on how to do this. Okay. We can write down what it's going to travel in some time. Okay. We have the car. Stand over here. Stand over here. Stand block. Number of miles. Okay. So, actually, I'm going to change that car to minutes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Number of minutes. Okay, great. So, what's the first thing you're going to do? So, it says it travels in one minute and 30. Yeah, put, put the dots, one dot 30. Okay, fine. And we have one mile. Okay. So, that means three minutes. Okay, two dots. Three minutes. Blah. Three minutes, okay. Yeah. That's fine. People know what you mean. There you go. Two dots like that, exactly. Okay, three minutes, how far does it go? Two miles. Alright. Okay, stand over a little bit there. It's it. Fine. Okay, so what do you want to do next? Well, actually, Here. I see something now. Okay. So, now it's six minutes. Yeah? It's going to travel four miles. Okay, awesome. Now I see something else. What, what's that? Twelve minutes. Okay. Eight miles. Okay. Now I see something else. <laughs> Alright. Seen a lot of things. That's good. Twenty-four minutes. Twenty-four minutes. And then sixteen miles. Okay, awesome. I see something else now. 48. Stand over a little bit. Minutes. It's been 32 miles. Okay. Can we go bigger than that? Uh, so, well, we need 12 more miles to go. 12 more minutes to go. Yeah. But 12 miles of travel is 8, so I just do 32 plus 8. Okay, so in 60 minutes, how far does it go? 6. And this is what we're looking for. What is it? 40 miles. Okay, great. So let me show you two other two other ways you could have approached this problem, okay? Okay. Alright. <laughs> right, right here, when you had um, six minutes and four miles, Yeah. what if you just multiplied everything by ten? Awesome. S Sixty minutes and? Forty miles. Forty miles, which is where you, where you ended up, right? Yeah. Okay. And there's another thing you could have done here. And this will this will be a good. This is a fine way to do the homework problem, by the way. If you want to do it like this, go ahead. But there's another thing you could do here, and you could say it travels one mile in one and a half minutes. Oh uh, yeah. Which is three halves of a minute. Yeah. So if you know fractions, this is this is an okay way to look at it, right? Yeah. It's on the screen. Yeah, it is. Okay. One mile and three halves of a minute. So that means it goes in 60 minutes, it goes 60 divided by three halves miles. Okay? So let me explain why that's true. Suppose it goes one mile in two minutes. Just make it make your life a lot easier. Yes. Yeah. So one, well actually let's say it goes one mile in 30 minutes. How far does it go in 60 minutes? Two. Two, so you would just take 60 divided by 30, right? Yeah. What if it goes one mile in 10 minutes? How many miles does it go in an hour? Two. One mile in 10 minutes, how far does it go in an hour?
Hmm. How far does it go in an hour? It's one minute and ten minutes. One mile in ten minutes. One mile in ten minutes. Okay. So it goes two miles in. Goes two miles in. Hmm. Let's stand over there. Work it out over there. Suppose it goes. In, it goes one mile in ten minutes. confusing me a little when I yeah. see it. Okay. That's fine. One mile in ten minutes. So then So how far does it go in an hour? It's gonna go six miles. Right. So you just go sixty divided by ten. Right? Yeah. Okay. Now what if it goes one mile in five minutes? How far does it go in an hour? You can just Five times one equals sixty five times twelve. Five times twelve. Okay. So now that's why we're doing sixty divided by three halves. Now what, what do you do when you divide by fractions? When you divide by fraction, you can use the little definition of division. Okay, so 60 divided by 3 halves is the same as what? S 60 times 2 thirds. Times 2 thirds, which is the same as 60 over 3 times 2. And what is 60 over 3? It's 20. Times 2 is? 40. 40. So there you go. So that'd be another way you could work out this problem. So you could make your chart, or you could just divide. So that's a nice problem, isn't it? All right, you ready for the next one? Yeah. Okay, here's the second problem. A number has remainder one when divided by two or three. But it has remainder zero when divided by five. Find three numbers with this property. Well, numbers, this, this section here, here, this, this means, this part means that this is a five can go into this number. Okay. So, all right, the remainder is zero when divided by five means five goes into it, so that's great. So it has to end in zero or five. All right. But if it ends in zero or five, then this would, then, then, then it would be divisible by two, so it has to end in five. It has to end in five. Okay, great. So it has remainder one when divided by two or three but it is divisible by 5. So it ends so we just figured out it ends into 5 and let's re, let's say that again a little slower. If it if it if it's divisible by 5, that means it has to either end in a 0 or a 5. Yeah. But if it ended in a 0, it would be even, right? And then that would mean it's divisible by 2. It would be divisible by 2. So it has to end in a 5. Okay, so that's awesome. So very good. You figured out very quickly ends in a 5. Okay? Yay. Alright? Anything else you know about it or are you going to start searching? We know it's one more than a multiple of two or three. It's one more than a multiple of two or a multiple of three. Okay? That's what the first one says. It's one more than a multiple of two and three. Okay? Alright? So, how do you want to approach this? I think I just found a number that has this property. Oh, okay. What? 24. Okay. 25, I mean. 25, okay. Because it's, it's divisible by 5 and, and so forth. Okay, it's divisible by 5, and 1 less than it is 24, which is? Which is divisible by 2 and 3. Divisible by 2 and 3. Okay, great. So we just found one. Okay, we found it kind of by guessing. Let's see, let's see if we can find another one. I don't want to search for the others. Hmm. Hmm. Well, what would be the next number to take a look at? 35? Okay, let's look at 35. Okay. Does 35 work? What do you have to do? What do you have to check? If it's a y2 and it's if it's a y3. Okay, there's one more than it's a... Okay, so we have to check, is 34 divisible by 2? Yes, it is. Is it divisible by 3? Uh-uh. No! Uh -uh. Why not? How do we know 34 is not divisible by 3? The sum of the digits is 7. So the sum of the digits is 7, and if the di if a number is divisible by 3, the sum of the digits are? Divisible by 3. Okay, great, so 35 doesn't work. Let's try 45. Let's try 45. What the heck? Okay. 45, so what do we have to check? To check if... 
Is it divisible by 2 inside? Okay, is it divisible by 2? Yes. Alright. Mm, eh, eh. No, not divisible by 3. Oh, okay. goodness. Okay. Let's, do, let's try 55. Let's try 55. Okay, so we have to check 54. Oh, that is divisible by 2. Yes! It's divisible by 3. How do you know? Because uh, the digits is 9. Okay, so 3 times what equals 54, do you know? I know it's 9 times 6. It's 9 times 6, so it's 3 times... It's not 3 times 20, but it's 3 times 18. 3 times 18, very good. Okay, so 55 is our next number. Now, does this give you an idea of how to find another one? 25, 55? I think you, you just move up 30. Okay, let's just move up 30 and let's just see. We're not, we're not sure. Let's see if 85 works. Okay, so 85... It's 84 to resort by 2, yes. Yes! And then 84 is also to resort by 3. How do you know? And some of the digits is 12. Some of the digits is 12. Okay, so what times 3 is 84? Do you know? Well, 20 times 3 is 60. Yeah. And then you need 24, so that's 3 times 28. 3 times 28 is 84. Good job. Great job. Okay. Homework problems. Homework problems. Oh, goodness. Where's the book? It's, it's uh, Olympiad 19, problem number one, and problem number two. That's what it is. Awesome. I, I left the book in, in the kitchen, but I remembered what it is. Okay. Hey, great job. I know you're a little sick tonight, so that was really good. You did a nice job with those problems.